Hi, welcome to my channel. This is the Heath Kit Memory IO Accessory ETA 3400. And it expands the capabilities of the Heath Kit Microcomputer Learning System. Right here. It has an independent power supply. So this microcomputer learning system plugs into the accessory and then the accessory gets plugged into an outlet. So this ET3400 supports up to 1K of random access memory and it's expandable to 4K. It's got a 2K ROM monitor, 2K ROM tiny basic interpreter. So it has this small subset of basic programming and it has expanded I.O. support for an audio mass storage. So what you can do is plug in a cassette recorder a player slash recorder and then you can you know you enter in a program whether it's in assembly language or the basic and you can store it on a cassette and then you can take that stored program and you, re you rewind the cassette play it back and it'll input that program back into the microcomputer or microprocessor trainer here. I haven't done that for a while so I thought I'd give it a try but unfortunately I didn't have any tape recorders players that worked. What happens is the belts they deteriorate, they disintegrate and uh, I had to find a cassette. I, I ended up buying one on uh, eBay uh, from the reviews, I was going to buy a new one, but from the reviews I read, there was a problem with a lot of these Chinese small handheld uh, recorders that eat the tapes. They get like one pass and then the tape is done. So I did some research and there was a nice Sony that I ended up purchasing. But I went through everything that I had that I could find. I had this old GE little microphone, little compartment here for the microphone. That didn't work. Get this vintage Panasonic radio cassette player and recorder. That kind of works, but it does not actually. Something with the belt slipping or something. But what ended up working is this. Got this off of eBay. It's a Sony tape recorder player. It's a built in mic, has a mic input, has an earpiece out. So I do have to, I, I had to buy a cable too. I bought this cable here, audio cable, and I just have to switch the cables to load or either uh, save or load the program. So here you can see the standby light is off. Turn on the accessory unit. Standby light is on. Turn the microprocessor trainer on. Press reset. I have CPU up. I think some of these keys are sticking here. Might be a good idea to start uh, taking some of these chips and reseeding them taking them out of their sockets and reseeding them. Get a lot of tarnish that gets built up. So I already entered a program manually and saved it to cassette. And I can show you if I press do, since this has already been off and I enter in the memory address 0100 all the segments are lit. That is not the program. There was nothing, there's no program stored. So I don't know if that's just the default. But press reset again. And I'll load the program. I have the audio jack plugged into the earpiece, and then the other end is plugged into the accessory input. So there is a load routine that you start, so you have to uh, queue up the cassette just before the 
stored uh, information on the tape and you have to say do I think it's 1 A B and you wait for the last letter which is C and I hit play and then say C and then as soon as it gets the information off the tape the leftmost decimal point uh, on the LED there starts blinking. It's accepting data and it says CPU up. So now I can turn off the tape recorder and I can say do 0100 zero, zero, zero. and that's the program that I entered. It just does that once. Reset. So I now have that program that I manually entered and previously stored on the cassette tape reloaded into the microcomputer learning system. Now if I turn the standby on, there's still power to the RAM. So I can say do one, oops, reset do zero one zero zero and that still is in memory but if I turn off standby and then turn off the accessory you can see the standby light went out turn this back on and turn this on again micro uh, processor trainer that program is lost zero one zero zero see and it's acting differently this time do zero one zero zero yeah remember the last time it was all eights and if you're curious as to what's on the tape just pull out the audio cable from the ear jack there and play and you can listen to it. So then I can just cue this up again. I have a counter there. And again, I say, or type in do, 1, A, B, hit play, C, and you do get an error if the program doesn't uh, enter in correctly. So there's the light blinking. The LED CPU up. That means the program has successfully been loaded and I can say do 0100 and there it is again. So this comes in handy. Now I have a mass storage device. I don't know how much information can be stored on a, on a cassette as opposed to a two terabyte hard drive. But that expands the capability of the Heath Kit microprocessor trainer or microcomputer learning system. This is the Heath Kit Memory I.O. Accessory ETA3400. If you found this video interesting, feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment. And thanks for watching. I forgot to turn off my storage device.